Welcome to Dave's Cooking Show, and for you today, we have Korean pork chops. All right, to a bowl, I've added one tablespoon of olive oil. And then you want a quarter cup of soy sauce. Put that in there. And then you want to add about two tablespoons of honey. A little sweetness in our marinade. And you want four cloves of minced garlic. And a teaspoon of sesame oil. And of all the things to use a measuring spoon on, this would be the one. This crap is potent and will easily overpower your dish. All right. And then you want about a half a teaspoon of ginger powder. Or if you want to go the extra step, a teaspoon of minced fresh ginger. Uh, I was going to do that, but I forgot to buy it. So screw it. I just went with the spice. Now you want two teaspoons of red chili garlic paste. You can find this in the Asian section of your local supermarket. Now you want to grab a whisk and whisk all this stuff together. And once you've got it all mixed together, I've got about six pork chops here. And again, you just want to pour the marinade into a bag. Uh, when you close it up, try to get as much air out as possible. Move the pork chops around and make sure they're uh, coated with that marinade. And then you want to marinate this for about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, it's just because of some of the strong flavors that I don't recommend marinating it, you know, like overnight or something like that. So about 20 minutes and we should be good to go. And just kind of want to roll it around. That's the easiest way I find to make sure everything gets evenly coated in the marinade. All right, see everyone in 20 minutes. Okay, now we got a thing of oil, some olive oil. It's just about to start to smoke and we wanna lay our pork chops in. And basically you wanna sear them uh, for about five minutes a side or so. And then you want to give them a little flipsy and get the other side all good and wonderful. And after that five minutes, basically you want to reflip them, pour the marinade back in, and then cook them for about another five minutes more. Okay, and I decided to come up with a sauce recipe while the rice was simmering. Oh, by the way, you want to make about two cups of rice for this uh, particular dish that we're making and so I got about a half a cup of uh, about a half a cup of mayonnaise and then I added some of the drippings from the uh, skillet that uh, we cooked the pork chops in added that to there uh, if I had to guess probably a couple of tablespoons worth again I didn't really measure anything else like I said I was making this up while the rice was cooking and then, of course, add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And just for a little heat in there, I added uh, basically kind of a, about a teaspoon of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And then just grabbed a spoon and mixed it up. All right, sauce is done. Let's move on to assembly. Okay, got our nice plate and uh, or bowl I, I should say and uh, now you want to basically just lay down a bed of white rice any white rice will do this is just long grain white rice but if you want you can use basmati or jasmine doesn't really matter and now you want to lay down our pork chop that's been rested and sliced And then you want to grab a spoon and lay down some of that sauce we made on the top. And that's it. 
Korean pork chops. Done.